Hey guys, Drifter here. Today's in-depth is going to be something of an unusual one. Instead of talking about raw numbers and uh, objective figures and things like that, we are instead going to be talking about those numbers that are objective subjectively in the context of discussing the app that my friend here, uh, Brass Monkey, made. We work together a lot on some of the numbers that you see in in-depth and see in his, his app because uh, we did some work in MW3 and a little bit further back to Black Ops 1. And what happened is when this game first came out, there was no uh, game code available. So we all had to go a private match and test really, really fast and share and send data back and forth to try to get accurate numbers for his app and my show. So today I'm here to introduce to you another uh, statistician wizard, a, a COD magician. Uh, say hello to Brass Monkey. How's it going, everybody? Appreciate you having me on your channel again, Drifter. Oh man, anytime. I appreciate all the uh, help that you uh, sent me because uh, some of the early episodes of the show I was using uh, your numbers instead of mine. Yeah, man. Well, I'm glad I could help out. I know how difficult it is right when the game first comes out and everybody wants to see that content. Everybody wants to know what the weapon stats are, get that upper hand right away. And it's always a challenge to balance your time between producing content and uh, doing the really in-depth level of testing mm -hmm. that's required to get the kind of data needed for the stuff that we do. Mm -hmm. I just appreciate the help, and I'm here to share with my users your work, which you've been working on, your app, and all of that stuff. And it's it's the Black Ops 2 Ultimate Utility, correct? You've been sticking with the Ultimate Utility for the past uh, several COD games. That's exactly right. And, you know, last year when we had talked, you had bounced some ideas off of me for, you know, really cool new things. And I took those and I meshed them together with some ideas that were sent in to me via email from other app users and I sat down and I tried to make some really awesome new features that were going to guide players through the process of creating really good solid classes and learning about what guns are going to work best for them. So that what I started with was something called the Gun Finder and this is a tool that is brand new and what it does is it allows you to search for a particular gun that fits your play style. And so the way it works is you can filter guns by something like the assault rifles or submachine guns or any other different class or primaries or secondaries. Then you can search for highest or lowest of a specific attribute. So you can search for something along the lines of if you're a rushing player, the submachine mm -hmm. gun with the highest close range damage per second. And what that's going to do is it's going to show you the top three guns that fit your play style. And then you can take those and put them into another feature that allows you to compare those two top results side by side. Uh, this, this is what I really liked uh, about the app. You're going to move. I know, I know what your next move is. We're going to talk about the compare guns feature. And, uh, the compare guns was something that came out really late in all of the stat circles in Modern Warfare 3 and didn't exist previously. And I know of some sites that do simple gun comparisons and, and things like that, but you're already like a month or two ahead of them and you've had yours ready to go forever. It's it's a it's a pretty on paper it looks simple. You pick two guns. The examples we have here are the AN ninety four and M eight A one shows you damage, uh, you know, how much damage it does at long range, close range, rate of fire, you know, bullets to kill, shots to kill, all that kind of stuff. And this one is incredibly useful because it's maybe not necessarily good for me because some of you guys, when you wanted to know which gun was better, you'd like click on a couple of in-depth episodes and I would make a penny off of all the ads. <laughs> and, but instead, they can go to your app and just kind of load up what they want and compare back and forth really quick. And this is this is beneficial to me. And that, that's that's one of the reasons that I wanted to present the video for you all today is more of it's a, it's a useful utility for you because a lot. I mean, I'm assuming everybody that's watching the in-depth show wants to know something about gun numbers or stats or what's better or what's worse and this is kind of a little compact version of my show where you can just cut out all of my talking and just go to the numbers back and forth really really fast but there are some other things in here it's like a 50 megabyte app now which is kind of heavy and when you click on it it loads up a menu that is so overwhelming like I'm looking at it's like 18 20 options it's like a, it's got apps within its apps so yo dog I heard you like apps <laughs> so we put apps in your apps you can app for days what are some of the cooler other ones that you'd like to talk about here now that we're getting close to running out of time oh yeah that that's exactly right I mean I really want to make it live up to the ultimate utility name so I always try and make it so that there are tons of features in there and it really performs every function a player could want. So in addition to the, the compare guns and the gun finder, 
and there are a couple of new things as well one is the clan messenger where you can add friends and they don't actually even have to be on your xbox live friends list and it will show you whether they're online or not and you can also add ps3 friends and uh, other other friends and whatnot um, on other systems but if they're on Xbox, then it'll actually show you whether they're online, what game they're playing, um, you know, if they're playing Black Ops 2, what map they're on, all kinds of crazy stuff. And also for the pro version, which is coming out in a few more days, I've mapped out all the spawns, and this is just one of over a dozen new features in the pro version, but I've mapped out all the mid-game spawn points. So if you're somebody who plays with a team and you like to hold a side of the map, you know, you're a domination pro and you cap A and B or B and C on all the maps and you just spawn trap the rest of the game, then this is going to show you literally the exact spots where everybody's going to pop up mid-game and you can just pin them there. Hey, send me that spawn data. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I'll <laughs> give you the hookup. Yeah. Now, uh, the gameplay that you've been watching, which we haven't talked about very much, was just me and him playing a little bit of hard point, and uh, we did pretty awful in the beginning and came back. And at some points in this game, I would see uh, Brass Monkey running to the other side of the boat or somewhere where there were no enemies. And I'm like, what are you doing? There's nothing over there but seagulls. And he's like, no, no, they're going to be coming from back here. They're going to be coming from back here. And uh, now I kind of know how you knew that. And I <laughs> wish that I had known that then. Uh, anyway, we're running out of time in this video. We're uh, kind of burning up the airspace here. There's one other thing I'd like to talk about, th about the app anyway, is that there's a, a feature called the Pwn Box, which is something of, of a chat feature that works either through the app or through the website. And uh, one of the things I'm doing is I'm going to be live in the Pwn Box doing a Q&A session or come hang out and chat with me session for about 30 minutes to an hour or so after this video goes live. So if you're watching this, I'm already in the Pwn Box right now, and I'll be there for a little bit. And you can come and hop in there and check me out. You can access the Pwn Box from either the free or the paid version of the app. You'll find links to both down there in the description. There's links to the Pwn Box, links to the app, iTunes, Brass Monkey Channel, Brass Monkey, all the stats and stuff that he's been working on. Super easy to find down there, clearly labeled. And I'd appreciate it if you all would go and check it out. And be sure to tell Brass Monkey thank you for coming on the In-Depth Show. Well, thanks again for having me on, Drifter. Always a pleasure. Anytime. Drifter out.